Normally you would say a struggling business is having trouble keeping the lights on, but one business wants them turned off. The Ruskin Family Drive-In says light pollution is killing its business. You can see where the drive-in is located. That's along US 41. Now across the street, there's a wooded area, but this is an old map. A Publix and a Taco Bell are now standing where those trees once did, and it's their lights that are spoiling the ex experience for some of the drive-in's customers. Nightside reporter Bo Zimmer is shining a light on this fight over lights. It's Friday night at the Ruskin Family Drive-In and crowds are gathering to see tonight's feature, Wonder Woman. It's a great time to, to, to bring the kids out. It's inexpensive. Regulars here say on any normal Friday night, cars would be lined up out onto the highway. But this week, the line is almost non-existent. Owner John Freewall blames a brand new shopping center that just opened next door. The lights from the parking lot making it more difficult for his customers to see. It seems like it's gone down over 20% during the time that place has been open across the street. Last Saturday alone, he gave 63 refunds to customers who left mid-movie all having trouble seeing the screen. You pay for something, right? So you want to see the movie. Years ago, US 41 looked a lot like this. Fast forward to 2017 and all of the new growth we've had here in Hillsborough County has led to new development and lots of additional light. The good news, since initially raising concerns, the neighboring businesses have been trying to help. Public shutting off their lights when the store closes at 9 and Taco Bell bringing in an engineer to see if there's anything they can do. But in the end, Freewall says the drive-in will likely have to take its fate into its own hands. Whatever they do, I'm going to have to do something to it. We're going to put a light blind here. We're going to put one right there and one on this side here and possibly over there. Freewall hopes investing in a wall to shield light will pay off keeping the tradition of drive-in movies alive in Florida and his customers coming back for years to come. In Ruskin, Bo Zimmer, 10 News.